Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Saturday, November 6th. On the Hebrew calendar, it's the seventh month and the 17th day. I was really hoping. I was really hoping. That's, of course, according to how man put together the Creator's calendar. We don't really know for sure that it's accurate. So, there have been some people talking about the 19th. I know, I know. Some of you are saying, don't date set, don't date set. Well, you know what? It doesn't hurt to hope. It's our blessed hope to keep looking. And if you don't, you're going to find yourself back in the world thinking, you know, we just can't know the day or the hour. We just have to live our lives as if we don't have any clue. That ain't right. Let me get on with today's story on the product recalls. And I'd also like to point out, I put two little videos up on BitChute.com. My channel there is Truther 2.0, all caps. Truther 2.0. No spaces if you want to see what they're all about. And they need to be shared with all parents of school aged children. All right, this first is from Food Safety News. And it was written or sponsored by Marla Clark. It has to do with shrimp. Who loves shrimp? It's cooked shrimp, but grocers recall frozen cooked shrimp because of the risk of Listeria. Oh, don't, aren't they so concerned about our health and welfare? Still, for those who have this, you need to pray over everything you have. In case I don't get around to making these videos, or I miss one, I accidentally delete it, whatever. Pray over everything you buy. Try to remember to pray over everything. Just plead the blood of Jesus over everything that you bring into your house. Because you don't know who's touched it and what they have. There's a lot of stuff going around out there. Okay. By the news desk on November 3rd. Three grocery chains are recalling certain frozen cooked shrimp after testing. Revealed Listeria monocytogenes. We've heard that before. Winn-Dixie. Fresco. Limas, Fresco, Yamas, whatever. I don't know where that would be. Maybe in the southwest. Kind of sounds Spanish, but I don't know. I don't know Spanish. And Harvey's Supermarkets stores recalled these Fisherman's Wharf brand jumbo cooked shrimp. According to to company officials with the chain's parent company, Southeastern Grocers. That's all I'm going to read about this one. You look it up if you have frozen shrimp in your freezer. Now, Tasty Cakes is recalling. You know who Tasty Cakes is? They're like little Debbie. They make little donuts and different kind of little cakes, just like little Debbie. Tasty Cake Cupcakes recalled across several states. And I started reading this, or looking through my email, and I saw this one, and then I saw that Tessa had sent this, and then she sent an update. This particular article is with Fox 8 by Megan Talley, Next Star Media Wire, posted November 3rd. Um... These just came in last night. The FDA announced the FDA. According to WHT, WHTM, the FDA announced that Flowers Foods Incorporated is voluntarily recalling Tasty Cake multi-pack cupcakes that may contain tiny fragments of metal mesh wire. The recall was announced Sunday after the vendor was notified of the possible contamination. Products being recalled were sold to consumers in Delaware, Maryland, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and West Virginia. So you click on the link and check out the product numbers and 
related content. All right, there's some little tiny, tiny numbers here I can't read. Now, I'm just going to tell you, um, this is the, oh, wait, that's the shrimp. It's back here. Tasty Cake. This is another one by Fox 8. News. Tasty Cake amends cupcake recall to include crimpets. I never heard such thing. I'm sure they're delicious. Crimpets distributed throughout the U.S. Um, oh, they, they look like um, Twinkies. And then they have, they have crimpets with like raspberry jelly in them. And then with the white cream, it looks like. I loved Twinkies when I was in high school. We would collect pop bottles and take them to a, a store, you know, because you had to pay, like say a Coke was uh, 10 cents. But you might have paid an extra two cents for a small Coke. And if you got a big one, then it was five cents extra for the glass. And you could take those glass bottles back and recycle them. And they gave you a nickel for every bottle. Well, you could buy a pack of Twinkies for like a dime. I mean, I'm only 66. This hasn't been 100 years ago, but it's been a while. 50 years ago? Yeah. 50 years ago, I was 16. So, yeah, about then. All right, that's about the time I was in the 10th grade. And before we moved out to Mogador, and we would collect up pop bottles, take them to this local store near the high school, and get Twinkies and a Coke or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> enough reminiscing. This is by Chelsea Simeon, News Star Media Wire. I got to lean in. Posted November 5th, okay? It says, the uh, by WKBN this time, Flowers Food and Flower Foods Incorporated, the parent company of the Tasty Cake brand, has expanded its multi-state Tasty Cake cupcake recall to include crimpets. Now, it's funny I never heard of crimpets. Sold throughout the country. The FDA shared the amended announcement on Thursday, which announced that six types of crimpets products were also being recalled due to, quote, the potential presence of tiny fragments of metal mesh wire, unquote. I would just love to know how tiny fragments of metal mesh wire got into any crimpet or cupcake. Wouldn't you like to know? The announcement came shortly after Flower Foods Incorporated initially recalled three multi-packs of cupcakes for the same reason. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I'll put the links in the description box. If if you have any, take them back to the store. If you've got the numbers, see here again, they've got UPC code numbers, uh, flavors involved, the dates involved when they're good to till. Lots and lots and lots of numbers, okay? So if you like to buy this product, you might want to check this out. All right, let me pull up my camera. Let me see. I got to make sure I don't pull it at the side anymore because I did that and cut it off before I was done talking. <laughs> anyway, you may be seeing me in a new look here soon. I ordered me a tablet. They had an early Black Friday special. And I went ahead and got it on a credit card, which I just got. And I thought this is a good, re a good way to get something that will make a better video. Hopefully, in the little stand, it won't be jerky if I'm shooting footage of somebody else's video instead of it looking like a this because I can't hold the camera completely still. I'm hoping it will improve the quality if we are here any length of time at all yet. Remember the Lord will protect his own. And don't let anybody, anybody, nobody talk you in to taking something you don't want in your body. And you know why. If you follow me, you know why. 
Don't forget to check out my latest videos on bitshoot.com under Truther 2.0, formerly known as Jeannie Loves Jesus, and I do with all my heart. I love you all, too. Thank you for your prayers. Um, you know who you are. Thank you so very much. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video because y'all are watching it. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.